This is the Swarm and Shoot Football Show, episode number 10, with me, Manny Matsakis, the head football coach at Defiance College. We feature Defiance College football and everything that influences our program. Today, my special guest is Kirsty Mack, who's the executive director of the Defiance Development and Visitors Bureau. And the interesting thing about Kirsty is she is a lifelong resident of Defiance. She grew up in Ayersville and was a graduate from Ayersville High School in 2007. She's been um, here locally. And really, the exciting thing is she has taken over one of the most vital parts of our community, and that is bringing people into Defiance. And we've uh, we've connected uh, over the time. Good afternoon, Kirsty. How are you? Great. How are you? Oh, fantastic. It's just another wonderful day in Defiance. It is, as always. We always have a blast here. Yes, we do. And, you know, it's interesting. We met uh, over a year ago, mm-hmm. and uh, I was speaking at the Chamber of Commerce event. It was yep. like a luncheon of some sort. Yep. And uh, we connected at that point. I, I don't know. You gave me your card, and we, we started thinking about things in recruiting. When we were in the off season. I got when I got to our coaches in in December, mm-hmm. and um, we decided to have you uh, come over for one of our recruiting weekends and have you uh, share your passion with our community. Mm-hmm. And, and and so our recruits and the parents would see everything that's amazing about our town. And what ended up happening was after you did the first one, then as as you recall, we used to videotape everything. Yep. Right. So we videotape, and I have my brother Louis at the University of Kentucky start to watch all the parts of our recruiting weekends, so mm-hmm. we could just improve them every week. And he calls me back that night after he saw your, you know, your presentation. He goes, "No matter what, you keep her around." He go, I go, what are you talking about? She goes, she was by far the best presentation that you guys had the whole day. And uh, so I think our coaches were a little like, hmm, we got to step up our game. Well, and, sure. Yeah, of course. And then, uh, and, and then yeah, it, it was really neat. The feedback we get from the parents, um, they had no idea. Because, you know, some of these, we've got players on this team right now from 17 different states. Sure. And you're presenting about a town that, that, is near and dear to your heart, but you're also uh, communicating what is so amazing for them when they come here for the next four years. Right. And this is their home. That is the one thing we've talked about, you know, since we've met here um, and more times out in the community now that when these kids come to college as freshmen, we want this to be their new home for the next four years. We want them to be comfortable here. And I think all of us kind of get in this mindset sometimes when we think about our jobs. What is our job and our focus? And sometimes you don't think about the outside or the big picture. We've all, throughout the entire community, really started looking at the big picture. And so when I started doing some of these recruiting weekends, at first I was like, you know, I don't think these kids really care. (laughs) They're probably yeah. half asleep. They flew in. They don't want to listen to some lady talking about a town they don't have a clue anything mm-hmm. about. But when you told me that your brother had such a reaction to it, and mm-hmm. I've actually talked to a couple of other people on the campus, how much it meant to them that our office and the community has really stepped in to be a part of this program and the college as a whole, it really meant a lot to me to say, well, yeah, that's the reason we're doing this. We want to be sure that everybody in any realm, when they're here in Defiance, they feel like home, that they know that they can go anywhere to anybody for anything, and you know they can have a really safe, comfortable area while they're here at college and then maybe beyond. Yeah, and we do have a lot of people that, that come to school here and stick around afterwards yeah. and they call it home. Yeah, so, I mean, absolutely. I think, I mean, that's a testament to just our community. Yeah. And, um, you know, as you look at this, um, you know, being from the area, mm-hmm. you know, uh, born and bred, as they say. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you have a passion for everything that, you know, is defiance and, and the surrounding communities as well, what, what we have to contribute um, to each other and, and, and really make something special happen. What what makes Defiance so amazing? Well, I think it's kind of what we already have started talking about. It's the people here. It's we're small town. Mm-hmm. We are. We are 100% your small town. But the experiences that we can provide while you're here have a big city feel to them. We have a lot of things that, that go on within the city of Defiance and Defiance County 
and even the surrounding counties that have some of those big city experiences that some of these kids who do come from maybe one of those 17 states, maybe that's what they're used to. Maybe that Mm. is what their norm is. And so it's, again, us thinking outside of the box and going, we know we're we're small town. We like being small town. Mm -hmm. But what are some of those things that we can offer and experiences that we can say, oh, no, we can do that in Defiance, too. So we've really started doing a lot of those things. Um, We did our our big promotional video last year. That was a big deal. We had an absolute blast with that. Uh, looking to do another one of those in the future. So doing some of those things really does make us feel like that big city. And a lot of the events that we can put on in mm-hmm. town are not your your typical oh, small town it's event. It's not typical. We'll get into that in a little yeah. bit. You know, it's, it's interesting as you said, because like we have... Uh, you know, th- th- a lot of the chain restaurants and then we yeah. have some. Uh, and what I really like is when when it's a local owner because yeah. they put their own twist on it. You know, uh, you know, Big B Coffee. Absolutely. Right? right across the street from our offices here in Defiance Hall. So I know I see our coaches pop over the students all the time. Yep. I mean, uh, it's fantastic. It's got everything you want. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Sue uh, has done a great job running that place and she's local, yep. Defiance College. I mean, everything. I yes, mean, she it's, is. Uh, yeah. So we're fired up to have her, you know, right across the street. You know, yep. we used to have to get in your car in the old offices. <clears throat> now we just uh, walk across the street. It's good. That's right. It's a great opportunity for, <laughs> for everything you guys have going on here. That's for sure. No, and Sue and lots and lots of other local business owners here in town are probably one of the other things that make Defiance what it is. You know, you can go in and you can have that experience at a restaurant or at a coffee shop, uh, any of those things, and meet and talk to people from Defiance and hear some amazing stories. I know that you have great stories oh. from all of the <laughs> the times that you've been in Defiance and even mm-hmm. before. So, Oh, yeah. And and we enjoy it. And I know all of our coaches, you know, they've been all the pre- uh, previous – well, the first podcast was me and Lynn yeah. Grohl. Yep. And then, you know, basically the next eight were me interviewing all the assistant coaches yeah. and so forth. And uh, you're the first, uh, well, you're part of the team. You're like an assistant coach. Guys. Well, and I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I really do. And it's funny because <laughs> yeah. I, I talk to the community and I say, you know, I'm going to go meet with Manny and the team or I'm going to do this. And they've yeah. said, are you hired? Do you know anything about football? <laughs> I said, no, but I'm yeah. kind of a part of their team i'm their Huge. community connection yes. and it's it's great to be a part of the team and it's funny because anytime i run into any of the coaches or you or anybody else they're always hey how you doing and mm-hmm. it, it does it makes me feel like a part of the team and like that the football team is embracing the community as well as the community is embracing the football team mm-hmm. yeah i mean and you got a good point your husband sean has been freaking outstanding yeah. i mean i see him at the earlier this summer at the balloon festival yep. and we're sitting there talking and you're out there selling 50 50 tickets <laughs> yeah I, I still don't know who won that deal but you know but no, uh, we don't ever win anything so <laughs> okay. it's a great donation it is and uh you know it's just it's just really neat uh the way you guys have you know you know just embrace this whole region and made it something special and you know speaking of something special on september 28th yeah uh, you have the rib fest we do not just the rib fest the rib fest we do it's kind of like how like ohio state uses the yeah we're, we're gonna try and incorporate that that's right the defiance rib fest well yeah so so uh i know this we're on the road that day at mm-hmm. anderson but with a, we have a one o'clock kickoff. We're going to wrap up. We're, we're just going to make sure the food is already in the bus for the players so we can get back here and enjoy that. And t- tell our fans and uh, sure. everybody out there listening and watching on YouTube exactly um, what the Rib Fest is about. And yeah. Because I'll tell you, when you f- show those recruits that picture mm-hmm. of downtown Defiance and they think it's like Chicago. Yeah, right? I mean, I mean, it's amazing. What an event! Uh, so, tell us um, how that all gets put together and your role in it. Sure, uh, it is actually an event put on by our office. It is our sole fundraiser for the year. So we we really only try and do one major event to bring in some funds to our office mm-hmm. um, as a visitors bureau and a Main Street office. So this event now it'll it's in its thirteenth year. So we're Mm. 13th annual this year. It's always been right in the middle of downtown Defiance, and it just keeps growing. Uh, It's not one that is slowing down at all. We've actually had to open another street so that we have room for everybody. 
Uh, we bring in uh, about 7,500 people come down to this event mm-hmm. um, right in the middle of downtown. And really what it comes down to is there's ribs and there's music and there there's beer. That's exactly (laughs) what it is. I I mean, really, Uh there's a lot of times we hear that people come down and they come back to Defiance if maybe they've moved away to meet people and to just meet up with people and talk and hang out and get their ribs and, you know, maybe get their beverage and hang out by the music. But the really, really cool thing about this is that it is a huge block party Mm -hmm. that the entire community is welcome to attend. It's wow. it's just and it's huge. And you're right, Manny, that picture oh. uh, that we actually had somebody post on social media last year. Oh, really? It was it was a random fluke picture. But when they posted it, we knew yeah. that was the picture. Well, yeah, I mean, I know uh, Lynn Grohl had told me you know, he's got his uh, new magazine, yeah. preseason football magazine, Black Swamp Football Edition. And, uh, you know, and you, you guys have a uh, double page ad and yep. it's like, I think it just knocks it out of the park. I mean, yeah. it's almost like you don't have to say anything. Just give them the, give them the name of the event. Here's a website and this is when it is. Yep. And it, it was a, uh, the first time I saw the ad, I'm like, wow, you know, it, it really stands out. Yeah. It's probably the, it's the most fun event that we put on. It is absolutely the longest and most tiresome event we also put on Mm -hmm. Uh, if you see me at 11 o'clock at night the day of the rib fest if i'm still standing that's that's a huge (laughs) goal Uh, i'll keep going for about another two hours to clean up after that but don't call me on the 29th that's right that don't call me (laughs) that is my day to sit and rest but the event we feature 10 rib vendors with their ribs and pulled pork uh, and you come down and you can do get involved in the judging aspect. So there's a People's Choice Award that everybody can uh, go in and vote for whatever mm-hmm. vendor was your favorite. Uh, we have lots of partnerships throughout that event. And again, it's that whole community aspect coming together. We could not do it without many, many different groups of volunteers. Oh, yeah. The uh, city departments, uh, many uh, college departments help us out in many different ways. Mm-hmm. It's it's amazing how so many people come together to put together such an amazing event. We couldn't do it. Yeah. No, know? and I'm glad we do. And it, it it's actually a recruiting tool. You know, I mean, yeah. in many ways, we already know it is, you know, since... You know, Kirstie, since you've joined our team here, you know, uh, within our football staff mm-hmm. and so forth, uh, you take an active part in what we're doing. Yeah. And um, we also have coming up in a couple weeks, uh, the Swarm and Shoot weekend, where yeah. we're playing that Thursday night. We play uh, Manchester for mm-hmm. our home opener on September 19th. The next day, we've got our the, sw- the Swarm and Shoot uh, golf scramble that is uh, basically the key sponsor of that is mm-hmm. uh, the Darrow Automotive Group. Mm-hmm. They've gotten involved. Uh, Cable and his group have, have uh, jumped on board with this. And we've got so many sponsors. We've got a capacity sold out event mm-hmm. at this point. That's amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, we're fired up about that. And then on, on Saturday, we're down at the Eagles yep. and something that you and I actually said, hey, let's do this. Yeah, right? we did. And, and it is the touchdown lottery event it's mm-hmm. a vegas style evening at the eagles and uh, people are buying tickets left and right this time of year a uh, hundred dollars a ticket they get um oh, admission for two you don't even have to be there to win the grand prize is ten thousand cash yep it's a pretty good deal that's awesome right and then numerous and, and an equivalent amount of gifts being given away mm-hmm. throughout the night and uh, you won't miss your best football games because we'll have tvs all over the place absolutely all right and, Absolutely. Uh, you know, so so that'll make it a fun way. But you're 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 helping us with that. You're sure. actually on our swarm and shoot task force. Mm-hmm. So we've met a few times and, uh, you know, we appreciate that a ton. It's crazy because, you know, we're in the middle of our season getting going at mm-hmm. that point, And it's like to be able to pull this off um, because from a football perspective, what, what we've noticed is people get, are more engaged about the program during the season. Sure. Instead of trying to do fundraising and, and events and all that in in the winter or yeah. in the spring, which we, we, we have more time. Right. But that's not the best time for our public and our right. fans. So you've gotten involved in that actively, uh, putting that together. And uh, I came to your event uh, that y'all had at Tenora. Yep. All right. And it was at the Eagles. It was. And uh, and I, I, I was shocked how many people I knew mm-hmm. when I walked in the mm-hmm. door because we have a lot of people uh, in the Tenora School District that are uh, Defiance College alumnus yep. and fans and so forth. But, you know, how um, 
you know, what's the perception in the community at this point um, as far as of the football program? Because I, 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 I had an it was very interesting when I first got here a little mm-hmm. over a year ago. Uh, the perception was uh, less than popular, I sure. would say. Sure. And uh, so, so how do you th- see things at this point? I think that everything that you and your staff and your players, as well as everybody surrounding you, are doing are really giving that perception, that energy, and that positive vibe, and kind of turning those things around. Because you getting out and about, Manny, and getting your staff out and about, and even, I mean, I ran into your staff. They came into my office a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. (laughs) They walked in and, you know, just... It's again, it's not only am I a part of the team, but they're comfortable enough to be out and about in the community and walking around and people know who they are. So that perception of knowing who they are and knowing that, again, each one of you want to be involved in the community is is probably the best thing that could be happening. And so Mm. that perception, it just is getting better and better. And I am super excited for the season to start. Oh, yeah. So that we can get some, I know, we can get some people out in the seats and we can get them, you know, out there to see what the team itself is now about. You know, it's, we've been talking about it for six months. Let's let's get them. Getting all these guys in and working with them all August and you know, it, that's exciting for us. And, you know, I guess uh, I want to take a moment here and just uh, I, I want to pick your brain. Okay? okay. I want to ask your advice on some stuff. Sure. Okay. So um, you've talked about how much we've closed the gap and improved mm-hmm. our relations in town and so forth and uh, built a bridge to the community, even though we're waiting on the bridge to be <laughs> yes. done, which will be fantastic to make, you know, uh, I see Defiance College as a... Uh, basically a connection to the downtown with that yeah. amazing bridge we're building. I can't wait to get the photos and show everybody. It's I know it is. It is amazing. Right. Yeah. So it's first class and uh, it is pretty much everything is around here. And what um, can we do as a football program? If you're, if you're going to give me some advice mm-hmm. and say, Hey, look, you know, how can we continue to improve our connection and defiance and the surrounding communities? I think it's, again, it just goes back to that visibility piece. Mm -hmm. If it's, there have been a lot of conversations that I've heard that people say, well, whether they're, you know, college faculty or whether they're students, they say, well, I never leave campus. Oh, okay. Let's get them out there. Get them out into the community, whether it's a volunteer aspect or whether it's just being out in the community, attending events, going to concerts, being there, you know, just that visible piece, even, you know, having the T-shirts and that kind of stuff that say D.C. football and acting like members of society. That's the biggest thing that I really think is making a difference Mm -hmm. in in this program for the program and for the community. You know, we talk about that that bridge and, oh, yeah. and bridging the gap, and we're all working really hard to bridge that gap while the bridge is down. Mm-hmm. Once that bridge is done, we're not going to have excuses anymore. Oh, no. That excuse is yeah. completely gone. Mm-hmm. And so everything that we're doing now to work on that is just going to kind of almost erupt like fireworks Yeah. when that bridge is done. Yeah, hopefully because, when they're done, they say, we didn't build a big enough bridge, right? That's right, because we're <laughs> going to have too many people crossing it that's because, right, it, yeah. you know, we're going to have so many college attending downtown and downtown walking to the college and being mm. a part of everybody's each other everything. That's the best thing that we can do. Yeah, it's a great time to be in defiance and support the Yellow Jackets and so forth. Absolutely. But, you know, um, if you were to give our fans – some advice mm-hmm. as the season unfolds. I mean, we, we they won't see us for about three weeks at home because, sure. you know, we, we go to Albion this week and then the following week we, we go to Hope. Okay. And then uh, then we'll be back here for that big Thursday night game against yeah. Manchester. What would you what would you tell your friends and, all you know, all the fans that we have out there as we start to build up to this? I just encourage you to come out to a game. Have opportunities to meet the staff because your staff is top notch. I have not met a group of people that have accepted everything, all of the changes, all of the new so well and so quickly and embrace this community as fans support them. Mm-hmm. Be out there, go to the games, 
you know, listen to the podcast, get involved with the things that are going on. If you don't already have your tickets for the touchdown lottery, get those. That's a great way to support this this program. If you need anything else to do with this program or have any other ideas, you can always call me. You can, I know you can call Manny, the rest of the staff, all of that stuff. Just get out there and help all of us get Defiance College back into and the Defiance community back to where we are a college town, not mm-hmm. just a town with a college in it. That's right. Yeah, no question. And, uh, you know, now we've got the new website up, swarmandshoot.com. Yep. Which is awesome, and it, is it awesome. gives people a lot of insights. The podcasts are up there. The, you know, it's a combination of just of what the iTunes type mm-hmm. thing is, and, the, and 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 also you YouTube, and then a whole bunch of more information on what the different things that are going on in in the program and and so forth. So I think they should check out swarmandshoot dot com, and um, you know, I, I think. For us, I, I want to just thank you so much for coming on this no, thank uh, podcast. You. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we enjoy it, and you know, we see each other all the time. Yes. And you know, like you, you had said, our coaches enjoy coming down, and you know, and sometimes you even uh, put them to work, which is a good thing. Well, of course, right? yeah. Every that's once good. in a while, everyone's got to pitch in. That's right. right? That's yeah, that's what this community is about, and I know our players will do their part as well. Yeah. And um, you know, thanks again, and uh, for for our. Um, for our fans out there and uh, we really want to uh, keep continue to expand this podcast and if you're listening to this podcast make sure to subscribe in itunes uh, give us a rating we prefer five stars and that's where we're ranked right now five stars uh, lots of comments on the on the total podcast so uh, please keep those coming uh, if you're watching this on youtube Uh, take a minute and just subscribe to the youtube channel you'll see that it's swarm and shoot football show where you see this and um just subscribe there and there's a little bell to the side that if you click the bell you'll actually get notifications on your computer every time a new uh episode uh is is put out there and then you can also which is a little different than itunes where you can comment on a specific episode Mm -hmm. so underneath make some comments i do take a look at them and respond to them and sometimes we'll have a little q a um later on coming up within what we do and, um, you know, so much going on. Mm-hmm. The season's about to unfold. Uh, we know how young we are, but regardless of that, uh, I just know these guys are going to play hard. Mm-hmm. They're going to represent the town well and, um, and, and, you know, and just be great student athletes, which is what this is all about. Yep, you're exactly right. Yeah. And, and as the community, I encourage uh, every single one of you to rally around these players and these coaches and this team and this school because that's exactly what a community does. Awesome. Thanks, Kirsty. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right. So join us next week to meet another key member of our success at Defiance College. And hey, uh, join the Yellow Jackets as we swarm and shoot into the fall. <laughs>